Hey there. So today what we're going to talk about is Sakatoa again, okay? But this time we're going to use Sakatoa to find angles, okay? So last time we used it to find sides. This time we're going to use it to find angles, all right? So I want you guys to remember if this is the angle in question, right? So the angle that either we know or we want to know, then this is the hypotenuse, right? The right angle points at the hypotenuse. Here's the angle, so that makes this side the opposite, right? And that makes this side adjacent, right? Adjacent to the angle, okay? On the other hand, if this is the angle that I want to know, well then, what happens is the hypotenuse, still opposite of the right angle, right? But now the opposite side is here, right? So it changes, and this side is adjacent to that angle, okay? So that means that opposite and adjacent, right, they depend on which angle we're trying to find out. So now let's try a quick example. So I have find the missing angle. So I have to find both of the angles, okay? So my first job is to decide which angle do I want to find first, okay? So let's just say I want to find this angle first, okay? So let's call it angle X, okay? So that's the angle that I've chosen to find first. You can choose to find that one, that's okay, okay? So if this is the angle that I'm finding out, we have to name the sides. So this is always the hypotenuse, right? This side is now opposite, okay? So we have to think about which part of Sakatoa do we want to use for this angle, right? So notice that we have hypotenuse and opposite. So opposite and hypotenuse is sine, okay? So that means we can write down that sine of this angle is opposite over hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse, right? And now that I know that, let's work that out on my calculator. Okay, so I'm just going to do 8 divided by 12, okay, and the answer is 0 0.67 if we round, right? If we round properly, it's 67, right? Because you see it's 0 0.666, so since that last number is bigger than 5, we can round it up to 7, so 0 0.67. Now, to figure out what x is, okay, all we have to do in our calculator is we have to do sine inverse, okay? So on your calculator, you'll see a sine button, and right above the sine button, it says sine inverse. It says sine negative 1. So to get to that, we have to press the second function button, okay? So that's this button right here, okay? So second and then sine. So second sine, and then we're going to type in 0 0.67, right? So I did second sine 0 0.67, and when I hit enter, there's my answer, 42 degrees, okay? So the answer is 42 degrees. So I've got sine x is 0 0.67, so what we put into the calculator is sine inverse, 0 0.67, and that ended up being 42 degrees, okay? So our answer is 42 degrees for that angle, okay? Now, to find this last one, okay, we could think of this as the angle we don't know, then this would be the adjacent side, and this would be the hypotenuse, right? But with the fact that we already know that this is 90, right? We can just say that this last angle here, let's call it y, we can say that y plus 90 plus 42 has to equal 180, right? Because that's a full triangle, okay? So that means that y plus 90 plus 42 is 180, right? And then all we have to do is figure out y by taking that over to the other side. So that means y is 180 minus 132, okay? So that's equal to 48, okay? So that means that x was 42 degrees and y 
was 48 degrees. Okay, and that's it. We found all the missing angles. Okay, so that's using Sakatoa to find the angles that we don't know. All right, okay, that's it.